Edwards Air Force Base serves as an alternate landing site for the space shuttle. A space shuttle recovery exercise held at Edwards teamed up base personnel with crews from NASA Dryden Flight Research Center and various outside agencies to practice an emergency recovery on Edwards' new temporary runway. A shuttle exercise we're required to have two every year by NASA and it also helps us practice the different contingencies that may happen on a landing from just the normal landing to any of the other contingencies that, that we call a mode uh, on a normal landing here at Edwards. About 100 people participated in the exercise, which simulated a fire in one of the orbiter's wheel wells. This scenario uh, was unique because uh, we've gone to our temporary runway. It's uh, quite a bit narrower than our main permanent runway. And with the number of vehicles that we have, we have upwards of 70 to 75 vehicles uh, plus six helicopters uh, in our exercise. So we were practicing working in a, in a confined space. And in this exercise, we worked on having an emergency that was on the runway, which, uh, which caused a fire department response and an evacuation of the astronauts to our local hospitals. We're there, our primary landing site, usually when the shuttle's in orbit, and uh, on occasion, we're the abort once around landing site, and also we're one of the primary landing sites uh, on the end of mission. Uh, there's been 127 landings of the space shuttle. Uh, Kennedy has had 73, and Edwards has had 51, and there's been one landing at White Sands. There's 10 more missions left in the space shuttle program, and I'd say probably the odds are we'll probably get one or two more landings, probably. Don Waldman, Edwards Air Force Base, California.